What's up y'all, today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to mix um rap vocals in FL Studio. So yeah, I forgot to say this, sorry if the mic quality is super bad, I'm recording this through my iPhone mic, but yeah, um, if you guys wanna check him out, um, his stuff is in the description, he goes by Slingshot, so yeah, check him out. And let's get straight into it. They pleading not guilty, big scope, tie the video up and drag on the rope In the class, nigga, know what I know, shorty at the back, she wanna go broke Put the children in the back of her throat, after that, she gon' drop on the boat Hey, all's of the guns that I tote, chillin' backseat, she cannot cope They pleading not guilty, big scope And let's get straight into the mixing Let's get the main vocals. I'm gonna like take off the effects. They pleaded not guilty. Big scope. Tie the video up and drag on the rope. In the class, nigga, know what I Those are the raw vocals. Yeah, um, the first thing I added was an EQ, and this is what I did. I was I just got rid of some of those like low frequencies. And then we made a cut over here at 159. And then we boosted some by um like the 6000 area by 3.4 decibels and these are the frequencies i got rid of they pleaded not guilty big scope tie the video up and drag on the rope in the class nigga know what i know shawty at the back she wanna go grow put the children in the back of her throat after that she gonna drive on the boat hey all of the guns that i told chilling back seat so, um after that i got rid of some high um frequencies such as they pleaded not guilty. Big scope. Tie the video up and drag on the rope. In the class, nigga, know what I know. Shawty at the back, she wanna go grope. Put the children in the back of her throat. After that, she gonna drive on the boat. Hey, all of the guns that I told. Chilling back seat, she cannot. So yeah, those are some of the high uh, frequencies that I took off. After we applied both both of those EQs, we added this SSQ. This is a free plugin. Y'all could get this. Um, It's included in the file. It's a free VST, and we're just um boosting some some more of those high frequencies, leveling out just some more EQing using the filter on the side, and then this is what it sounds with the EQs applied. They pleaded not guilty. Big scope. Without EQ, they pleaded not guilty. Big scope. So you get more high end um that clarity, but then um just to get rid of those S's, we use the DS or narrow uh yeah narrow band and then we uh, we brought this thing down right here or you could just adjust it through here but we brought it down by negative 3.9 decibels so then we had a compressor to compress the vocal so um yeah it's very simple threshold at negative 22.6 ratio at 3.5 to 1 gain at 9.7 the type is soft Release is 200 and attack is at 60.9. Let me show you guys why I, I added the gain. So look, without the gain, this is what the compressor sounds like. They pleaded not guilty. Big scope. With the, video the gain. On the rope. In the class, nigga, know what I know. Sorry at the back, she wanna go grow. Put the children in the... Obviously, as we add gain, um, we also need to lower it, our volume. So yeah, and then we add this songerizer, literally like halfway. And this is what it sounds like. They pleaded not guilty. Big scope. Tie the video it. up and drag on the rope. In the class, nigga, no one. So it's doing a good job. Then we had Flangus. So I used this plugin to get some stereo separation. If you don't have headphones on, you're not going to tell the difference. But with. They pleaded not guilty. Big scope. Tie the video up and drag on the rope. So without it, it's very mono. And with the Flangus, you just get that nice stereo separation. So the first track it's routed to is this, um. Uh, you could say multi-band compressor. I don't know how to use the FL Studio multi-band compressor um, or Maximus. So I will learn how to use it, but for now, we're just using this. We get the frequencies that we want from the high end. So it's basically up to like the 2000s around there. And we had a compressor. And then, um, let me show you guys how, what it sounds like. They pleaded not guilty. Big scope. Tie the video up and drag on the rope. In the class, nigga, know what I know. Sorry at the back, she wanna go grow. So overall, it's basically just some high-end compression. So yeah. Then, the main vocals is routed to reverb. Oh no, delay my bad. Delay. Um, the time is at 5. Uh, it's at stereo. Level is at 26.4 for the feedback. We add a bit of tone, 43.6%, and yeah, that's it. 
wet knob is at 28.7. Then we add some reverb. Now it's the reverb. And for the reverb, it's the cathedral preset, which is the first preset. And then um, we just do that with the EQ. So yeah, um, this is what it sounds like. They pleaded not guilty. Big scope. Tie the video up and drag on the rope. In the class, nigga, know what I know. Sorry at the back shoot. So yeah, now let's get straight into the intro. Alright, so this is what the intro sounds like. Oh, shoot out. So it's just a simple telephone effect. Um, oh, right here. From my Lil Tecca video. I use this telephone all the time. I prefer it over this one. Which is... I prefer it over this one. I don't really like that telephone effect. And I prefer it over the radio one. Oh, shoot, that was random as heck. So I prefer this one. And then it's literally just... It has some reverb. Cathedral preset. Um, a little bit less than halfway. And then some delay. But the delay is automated. It's only automated for when he says... Because if I don't automate it, this is what it sounds like. Oh, shoot. That was random as heck. So, yeah. The delay is messy. So, I automate it. So, yeah. So, now let's uh, go to the transitions. For the transitions, you could technically count this as one. But we just pan the vocals. So, whenever he's doing that, we're just panning it left and right. Then over here, uh, so yeah, we cut the beat right here. Twisted a Bentley. They said I was lame. Now they lining up his shows to pay with the 50. And it just lets the beat drop and hit. Because look, without it, this is what it sounds like without the beat cutting off. Twisted a Bentley. They said I was lame. Now they lining up his shows to pay with the 50. It sounds good, but like, I feel like it sounds way better when the beat cuts off. You could definitely hear the beat hit. So basically on this part, I did the same thing. I automated a filter. So the 808 hits and drops again. So let's play it. Jump in for a dive, but the odor is potent. After I like that goes hard. Let me play just the beat. So yeah, that goes hard. Let me show you guys what I did for that filter. So let's move into the beat. So for the beat, I added a fruity bass boost. And the uh, um, frequency is at 60 hertz, and the amount is, uh, I have no idea, but it's right there. Let's just copy that value. So, um, let me show you guys what this does. So, you got to be careful. You don't want to add too, too much. This reminds me of the plug-in lo-fi from Pro Tools. But yeah, let's um, raise the knob. So you don't want to add too much and the value is at 21%. So yeah. And then for the filter, we just made, we, um, we cut, um, what is that? Like 326. We just made a cut. So yeah, that's how you do it. And then I automated. Into the, um, master. So for the master, it's a very sim uh, simple master. So let's pull up our wave candy. So we have a soft clipper. Jump in for a dive, but the odor is potent. And then we have a fruity parametric EQ. Just um, I this time I did a cut over at like twenty five hertz. Um, then we have this EQ. We're boosting um, we're boosting some uh, frequencies by the three thousand area, and we we made another boost by the like sixty eight by the 68 like the 60 region then we add a fruity stereo enhancer let me show you guys what this is doing so without it jump in for a dive but the odor is potent it's peaking like crazy without it and then with it jump in for a dive but the odor is potent so yeah um all we do is use the volume knob and we yeah we pull it down right there and that's it for the mix and for the tutorial um